MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game two of the ALDS between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Seattle Mariners. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your Seattle Mariners. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for them against one of the best starters in the game? This is going to be a dogfight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm talking about one of the elite guys in the league. I want to see if they make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty breaking ball with two strikes? Or will they be able to drive the ball to the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit? This is going to be a great matchup. Jacob DeGrom will be on the bump for game two of the series. Harold, any thoughts? This guy's got a career ERA under two. That's how dominant he has been. You're just not going to come across a lot of pitchers with the type of stuff he possesses and the ability to put hitters away like he does. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Mariners. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised if he does the splits on you every now and then. Digging in, Jim Tucker. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The designated hitter, Jim Tucker. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Chop foul over towards the dugout. And he starts to go after it. Question was, did he hold up in time? Yes, indeed, says the third base umpire. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. Stepping into the box, Andreas Murillo. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew working this one. Behind the plate is Eric Summersgill. Summersgill's a little notorious for having a wide zone. Really frustrating for hitters. I saw one guy turn around at him one day and yell, is this a pick the table or is it a plate? Yeah, he was tossed before he finished the sentence. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Ready now, Eddie Murray. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. In there, no balls in his strike. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Working on striking out the side in the first. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Three up. 
three down three strikeouts not too shabby it's on to the bottom of the first no score on MLB Network and now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one HR how do they send their fan base home happy here today Matt this is going to be a pitcher's duel I mean both these guys have a chance to work deep in the game they've shown they can do that Runs are a premium. I think if you don't get them early, we may not see a lot of runs in this game at all. Manuel Castro is on the mound for game two. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he's pretty basic. The stuff is good, but he's only going to bring three pitches at you. So as a hitter, it's easy to process elimination to start eliminating pitches, but he's very good with the three he has. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Angels. And yes, they are moving all over the field. They love to ship heavily into the analytics and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Now with the plate, Sid Sisk. he lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Mariners. Right fielder, Sid Sisk. Line towards center field. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Well, they're having a good night so far. The pitcher threw a scoreless top of the first, and now he leads off with the single. This is the recipe you want. stretch runners off for second sends that one out of play for strike one set to deliver the 0 and 1 on the ground softly towards second he's got it and indeed he won't try to force it at second he'll just flip on to first for the sure out and he is in there hey that's a real aggressive base running right there what's going on the pitch and on the ground ball goes from first all the way around the third and makes it safely and you don't see that very often into the box now Ken Griffey Jr. first trip to the plate for him in this one and it's a good RBI spot too. lead off men at third with one down first delivery to him on the way and this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line foul strike one. Oh, one here's the pitch skied in the air to straightaway left Murillo has a beat on it and the play is made but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up and he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game a great job there by this power hitter known for driving the ball out of the ballpark does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. First pitch of the at bat. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. We'll head to inning number two here at Safeco. Seattle leads this one one to nothing. So coming to the plate Lonnie Wang he'll lead things Lonnie off here in this one Wang. run contest. Oh and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98 0 and 1. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Fifth. Here's Jackson Jonathan Bates Scope left. now. Jonathan Scope. First pitch on its way. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. Pitch on the way. Fouled back. And the pitch. 
Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. And so with two away now, let's Batting give you six. another look at our playoff Third bracket baseman. as you see Leo what could lie ahead Ruiz. for the winner in this series. Now at the plate, Rio Ruiz. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And that's in there for strike one. That fastball was a lively one. You can hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Leading He'll start us out here in the home half of the first second. Baseman, Freddie Freeman. First offering on its way. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! A solo home run off the bat of Freddie Freeman. His first homer here in the series, and the Mariners move out in front two to nothing. That one just kept going and going. You won't see many long balls hit farther than that this season. And as show track tells us, it carried a projected 460 feet. That's big boy territory. Here's Corey Seager. As he rips it on the ground to second. Taken in by Scope, throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Mitch Hanniger. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. That's what you call going to the plate with a game plan. Oh, oh, count looking for a fastball. It took it right back up the middle. Great execution. Here now is Mike Zanino. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Zanino, a drive. That's out to deep left field. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot to straight away left. His first homer so far in the series as the Mariners have opened up a four-to-nothing lead. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone right over the plate against these guys, you're going to get exactly what he got. A really bad result. The speedy Trey Second Turner baseman. digs in now. Trey and he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Souza moving to his left, two gone. The right fielder, number one, Sid. Digging in for Sist. his second at bat, Sid Sis. Into the windup and the pitch. High pop up. Murray will put this one away and the side is retired. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll go now to the top of the third. The Mariners are on top four to nothing. 